This is your Radio Silly video news for the 8th of January. Penzance businesses have started a campaign to get the Battery Rocks plan for our mainland ceiling adopted. Some shops wouldn't display support for option A. They felt intimidated by a press letter implying a boycott. The chairman of the chamber, Mike Waters, says it's more important now keeping businesses afloat rather than worrying about any opposition. We've had no snow. Most nights have been around three degrees. But after a St Mary's moped rider came off in a skid, Mark Blythe has been warning Radio Silly listeners each day about the skiddy patches. I've just been around. I've been through Old Town. That's, that's looking pretty icy and pretty white. Uh, and uh, then going up towards the airport, that uh, is pretty bad as well. And then on further, all the way around the island, uh, up Carn, Carn Vane, uh, up by the stables, um, all the way back down. It's patches, really. One minute it's, it's very dry, very, very safe. Next minute you're going to hit a bad patch, usually on the bed. Dave Mabry recorded minus two outside the wholesalers last weekend. He said the conditions were quite icy on the uneven road surface. The worst area in the freeze, according to Pete Hicks and Jackie Pritchard, the road past the Porthlow Duck Pond. Just be uh, mindful, we've got bad weather um, and you've just got to slow down. When you approach the bends, just uh, keep your speed very low um, and think that somebody potentially could be coming around the bend on the wrong side of the road if they've lost control. Crime is down, just 50 incidents last year, and St Mary's police say around half will be solved. They named drink as a problem in a number of incidents, like the high jinx that saw the Atlantic Hotel evacuated when the fire alarm at the pub next door was set off. They still can't find the person who daubed genitalia and a swear word in magic marker on the police jeep. That was done with a marker pen in October. The council has contacted two companies interested in developing wave power trials off St Mary's to tell them they're setting up a separate company to partner in the project so that locals benefit. Councillor Richard McCarthy is leading the project. This is pioneering stuff. It it will show, uh, silly, I think, in an appropriate, sustainable light. It's something that silly, as a tourism destination, probably needs to be. The, The greener we can be, the more the visitors will like it. The head of the Five Islands School is going back to regular teaching. After a year of being involved with a new school build, Bryce Wilby says he wants to engage more with children and will be taking Year 6 pupils in accelerated learning. It's a subject that older islanders may be unfamiliar with and is designed to offer our youngsters skills for life. Accelerated learning is all about um, learning to learn, the understanding of what it is to learn, how to learn and why we learn. It helps creativity, helps um, critical thinking skills, uh, increases pupils' dexterity, understanding of what they're doing and why, and is part of a a big national campaign being organised by the Campaign for Learning. Well, they're expecting a rush at Khan Thomas at the fitness suite with people trying to get trim for the new year. And there's a chance for men to take part in a step class. Tess Lloyd says some men may laugh at the idea of carrying out the aerobic exercise, but she reckons lads have to have stamina to do it. They've been um, circuit training for quite a few weeks now and over Christmas. Um, I think Tim Garrett has been organising a lot of that. So yeah, there's certainly been a lot of activity this, this winter. Well, as Britain has been shivering under snow, Ireland Paris is back on TV, bringing a little sunshine to people and the hope, of course, that the phones will be ringing after people see Silly in the summer on the BBC Two hit show. Porthlow Boatyard's a hive of activity as boat owners prepare for a new season. Despite the running joke on the programme, Fraser Hicks says he's well on track with his boat maintenance. Yeah, we're making progress here. It's all uh, coming along quite nicely, really. I'm inside at the moment. Scraping around a bit like a chicken on a shippy, really, up, head down and behind in the air and having a fine time. (laughs) So, have you got a sort of timetable or is it just weather dependent, really? Well, yeah, it's obviously we've got to be ready for about the middle of March, we'll have to be going in the water, so that'll be the the crunch time, you know, we'll have to make sure we're all organised to get in the water for then. Yeah, because in the past you've been behind a little bit, haven't you? Well, yeah, there's always one or two things that slow you down, so, yeah. But I'm all right, you know, hopefully it's just painting this year, so I haven't got anything too technical to keep me uh, occupied. Yeah, well, what about the weather at the moment, though? It's a bit cold, but uh, I suppose it's dry anyway. The yeah, it is, dry. yeah, it's dry, that's right. And it's, um, 
and it's not too bad for painting as long as you aren't putting gloss on. It's all right, you know. You can uh, you can cope with a bit of cold weather. Just put on plenty of layers, <laughs> or work harder. <laughs> put on plenty of layers is a better idea. <laughs> so, so you're doing the inside at the moment. What what does that sort of entail then? Well, at the moment I'm in the bilges painting the some of the bilges out, and uh, then it'll be the uh, seats and the uh, and the top sides you know, around the inside the cream and uh, engine boxes and all that sort of thing yeah so bottom up approach yeah that's right yeah <laughs> start at the bottom and work up <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah so how many more days do you reckon you've got with that then and then it's the outside i suppose yeah that's it well another sort of couple of weeks really would do the inside we'd be finished you know within uh, yeah a couple of weeks and then as long as it's dry weather we can get the cover off and put the paint on outside yeah. Which will be good. <laughs>